Hey everyone, it's good to be back and I want to share with you a very uplifting topic finding contentment in the Lord. In 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 6 it says, But godliness with contentment is a great gain. I believe that the only way in which we can all obtain contentment is to be focused on the Lord. He is the only one who can deal with our situations and just to be in his presence will draw our attention away from any affliction or distractions. In Proverbs chapter 19 verse 23 it says, The fear of the Lord leads to life then one rests content, untouched by trouble. As Christians, when we fear the Lord, we understand the consequences of sin and we want to live a life that is pleasing to him, out of respect, love and obedience. The main problem in nowadays is that there are many people who disobey the Lord's instructions. And this major problem was foretold in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 3, where it says, For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine. Instead, to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want them to hear. This is a major concern. And even in church, there are many people with itching ears, and these itching ears can be easily scratched by false teaching. And this main problem leads to my first question. How or where do you find contentment? Do you find it through entertainment, yoga, motivational speaking, or through your own desires? Many people do find contentment in having money. And in 1 Timothy chapter 6 verse 9 it says, Those who want to get rich fall into temptation and a trap and into many foolish and harmful desires that plunge people into ruin and destruction. When we place money as our first priority, we no longer want to abide by the Lord's instructions. Our respect and our love for him will decrease. And even when it comes to committing sin, It feels very comfortable until we feel guilty and shameful for the things we've done. So it is very possible to find contentment in sin. There are many times when we may feel very comfortable in sin and we may not want to leave our bad habits behind. And let this be a warning because the time will come when all of us will be held accountable for all the sins that we've committed without asking for forgiveness. And I believe that the Lord is calling us to raise up and turn away from our wicked ways. Let me also remind you that the type of contentment we find in this world will always lead to destruction but the contentment we find in the Lord will lead to everlasting life. And this is why we need to obey his instructions and live holy. How do we find contentment in the Lord? We can find contentment by simply spending time with the Lord through prayer and fasting. I want to go on a deeper level to answer this question. We can find contentment in God's word. 
There are two main scriptures that I want to share with you. The first scripture comes to us from John chapter 3 verse 16, a well-known scripture. It reads, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Let's break down the scripture. The Lord sent his son Jesus to die for the whole world, not for a particular country, a particular race, or a particular denomination. He came to save the whole world from sin. There is no racism in the kingdom of God. The Lord doesn't love one minority more than the other. He loves us all equally. I believe this scripture brings so much contentment because the Lord doesn't leave anyone out. All of us are welcomed into his kingdom as long as we accept his son Jesus as our personal saviour and we live accordingly to his instructions for the rest of our lives. Another important scripture, Psalm 139 verse 14. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. We can clearly see how The scripture brings so much contentment, so much peace and comfort because it removes all the doubts and insecurities about our physical appearances and we are all special in the sight of the Lord. Another way in which we can find contentment is in song. There are so many gospel songs that minister to us and I'm sure many of us have experienced times where the Lord has placed a song in our hearts. When we wake up in the morning or during the day, the Lord ministers to our hearts with songs that bring confidence and comfort in the Lord. As I look back on the life that I've lived so far, There are so many songs that I've heard, numerous songs that helped me stay close to the Lord. And I want to share with you some examples by displaying some lyrics. The first example, He abides, he abides, hallelujah, he abides with me. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way for the Comforter abides with me. Number two. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. And the final example. When upon life's billows you were tempest-tossed, When you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. You may call me old-fashioned all you want, but it will never change my love for the old songs as well as the new songs. I'm even surprised myself to remember so many of the songs that I grew up with. And in conclusion, we thank the Lord for the many ways he ministers to us through his song, through his word and the people that he's placed in our lives to set a good example for us. People who may have passed on and people who are still amongst us, sharing their words of wisdom and encouragement. There's one last scripture that I want to share. And it comes to us from 1 Peter 
chapter 5 verse 7 and it says cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you <laughs>